Moral maze. Yep, uh, so many issues to talk about. We even might have Jane Fonda in this one, but it won't be a fitness video. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Matthew Wachowski joins us uh, to discuss... Yes, I had to look down at the pronunciation of his name, because I'm a silly Anglo. Uh, joins us to discuss... Well, let's begin with something. There is no humour in this. Kermit Gosnell, um, the, 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 a serial killer, effectively, but because he's an abortionist, uh, we don't hear that much about him. That's right. Gosnell is probably America's biggest serial killer. He was convicted, I think, last year for yeah. uh, the murder of several children. Uh, he was a late-term abortionist in Philadelphia. Gruesome stuff. The things that he did in his abortion clinic legally uh, is, just, is just horrific. So, if they were legal, how was he convicted? Uh, because he, and not only did he kill uh, children before birth, he also would kill them after birth. Uh, things like snipping their necks with scissors. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to get into details, uh, but... Um, well, I think it's important pe people... I mean, this, this is vile stuff, absolutely vile stuff. It's, it's horrific, and uh, the things that we don't even know about, yeah. right? So we have three journalists and filmmakers who got together. They realized that this story needs to be told. People mm -hmm. need to know about it because, unfortunately, the mainstream media ignored it. Okay. So Later on, they started talking about right. it because of the pro-life movement. But it never right. got the, the, the attention that... Uh, you know, if, if a serial killer ha who wasn't an abortionist and who maybe had, had uh, sexually abused his victims, that there would have been books all over the place and front pages. And Now, so a film has been made, and, and uh, the people who made it, are they pro-lifers? Or... They actually said they're not pro-life, and oh. they don't plan this to be... Uh, they're not a pro-life group. They don't Very plan on setting up a pro-life group. Okay. They're just journalists who... All right who are sick of uh, the fact that something like this okay. got no media coverage. All right, let's see a clip now, please. Kermit Gosnell is the most prolific serial killer in American history, but almost no one knows who he is. The media have basically ignored his crime and his trial. He ran an abortion clinic in Philadelphia where he delivered live, viable babies and then murdered these newborns by severing their spinal cords with scissors. These babies fought for their lives and suffered tremendous pain. But the mainstream media or Hollywood don't think this is a story. Gosnell killed more people than Gary Ridgway, John Wayne Gacy, the Zodiac Killer and Ted Bundy combined. With your help, we're going to hire the best screenwriter, director and actors to make sure that the story of Kermit Gosnell gets into every home in America. He's got a hat, and they're Irish, so it must be pretty good. <laughs> so it's not this. This film is really an ad to make another film, is it? It's what? No, what they're doing is they've started this uh, crowdfunding campaign online. Yeah. Originally, they went with Kickstarter, which is a company that does of this course. kind of stuff. Yeah. Kickstarter did not approve, I think, of the messaging, so they See, went you to. Know, it really is incredible because it, it's not. It's a movie. It should be a movie about a terrible incident in, a, in an overwhelmingly black, poor community where people were taken advantage of and abused. That's the story here. Now, if you want to construe from that it's a pro-life message, that's up to you. But people should be able to make movies uh, about subjects which are important and relevant. And this one is. It's extraordinary. No, th that subject is beyond the pen. Anything else we can do, but not that subject there. Exactly. So what they did is they went to the Kickstarter's competitor, Indiegogo, which is another yeah. website that does crowdfunding. And they're hoping to raise $2.1 million, I think, uh, to have the money to raise, uh, to raise this money to create right. a movie like this. OK, so. uh, from that horrible story to one that is faintly ridiculous, uh, can we see a clip of Jane Fonda, please? Long pause. Today it's even more difficult for kids because of the social media and cyberbullying and sexting and, and all of this. It's very hard to be a teenager today and hard to be a parent of a teenager. And so I decided to write a book. Very often you hear, they hear from their peers, everybody's doing it. Not true. In fact... Mm, that wasn't Barbarella. That was the wrong <laughs> clip. Now, uh, now, Jane Fonda... I she, so she's now going to advise parents on how to raise... I think Hollywood should always advise parents how to raise children. I agree. No. <laughs> Definitely not. But it is revealing what she says, that she, later in that clip, she does go on to say that studies show that, uh, unlike uh, popular belief, not all teens are having sex, right? Which is what we've been saying all, all along. I mean, if, if you look at all these sex ed curriculums that are popping up in different school boards and yeah. in Canada around the world, the mentality that everyone's doing it, we might as well just throw out condoms, contraception, because everyone's doing it. But the truth is, not every teenager is having sex. So instead of sexualizing them, we should be protecting them. So mm. it's interesting that it comes from Jane Fonda, but... Yeah. I think it's a bit of both, actually. I, I think uh, if a parent has a good, loving relationship, a reciprocal re a relationship with, with their kids, 
kids will do what they do. I mean, kids are kids. Uh, but there'll be a certain morality and responsibility. They won't be perfect. They'll make mistakes. But they, they won't be appalling or promiscuous or absurd um, if they really respect and, and love their parents. And they don't do things out of fear. They do things out of, out of love and respect. But, but to, by the way, the pause before the clip was apparently the guys were desperately trying to get Barbarella. <laughs> They're a terrible bunch in there. They really should be reprimanded. And That's there's right. lots more to talk about, but we haven't got any more time. I'm still the, the Gosnell movie. Quite a, just horrible stuff. Thank you very much indeed. Pleasure.